Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in this video I'm going to show you three different ways to install a plugin on a WordPress website. We here at the events calendar believe that WordPress is the best way to build a website for a lot of reasons. First of all, WordPress is very powerful, but it's also very easy to use. And there are a ton of people out there who know how to use WordPress, so it's not hard to find someone when you need help. As far as installing plugins goes, like I said, there are three methods. Two of those methods are really easy and very common. The third method is a little bit more technical and not very common, but I'm gonna throw it in there anyways, just in case somebody out there might find it useful. Let's check it out. So our first method is the easiest method. Um, a lot of free plugins can actually be installed right from your WordPress dashboard. If you go to the plugin section and click on add new, there's a lot of plugins here that you can browse. You can also just search for a plugin. Let's take our plugin, for instance. Simply search for the events calendar. You'll find our plugin right here. You can click install, wait a few seconds, and then click activate. And that's all there is to it. Now, not every plugin is available there. Uh, not every plugin developer makes their plugins available in the WordPress repository. So sometimes you have to go to their website and actually download the file and then install that into your WordPress website. And that's actually pretty easy to do as well. So once again, let's go ahead and use our plugin as an example. I'm going to deactivate and uninstall event tickets. And then I'm going to show you how to install it by going to our website and downloading the file. So first we're going to hop on over to the events calendar.com. I'm going to log into my account. And in the downloads and licenses section, I'm going to download event tickets. Once I've downloaded that zip file, all I have to do is go back to my WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, and this time I'm going to click on upload plugin. I'll find the file that I just downloaded and click install. And like before, once it's finished installing, I will have to click the blue activate button. There it is. Okay, so that's it for the two easiest, most common ways to install a plugin. Now, I did mention that there's a third way that's a little more technical, and it's not very common, but I thought I'd show it to you just in case you found it useful. So for this method, you are going to need to use some kind of FTP client, such as FileZilla, and you will need to know the FTP login credentials for your web hosting account. Usually, you can find that pretty easily by logging into your hosting account and poking around the settings, but if you can't find it, go ahead and reach out to your hosting provider and they should be able to help you find that for you. So the first thing we're actually going to do is go to our file, our zip file, and extract the contents. Once it's done extracting, we should be left with a standard folder with all of our plugin files inside of it. Now we can hop on over to FileZilla and we can locate that folder. And over here on our server, we want to go into the WP content folder and go into the plugins folder. And then we simply come over here, right click on the folder, not the zip file, the folder and choose upload. Now this will take some time, but once it's finished, we will have uploaded the plugin files to the server in the plugins folder. And that effectively is installing the plugin into our website. Once it's finished, we will still need to go in and click the activate button. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I use this method to install a plugin? Well, the truth is you probably aren't going to be extracting zip files and uploading files that way. But this does come in handy if you need to move a plugin from one WordPress installation to another. You can actually use FileZilla to connect to the first server and download the plugin folder to your computer. And then you connect FileZilla to the new server and you can upload the files like we just did in this example. That's a really easy way to transfer a plugin from one WordPress install to another. Now I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch this process as it could take several minutes. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then we'll jump back in once this is finished. Okay, now that we have finished the file transfer using FileZilla, if we refresh our plugins page, we should see that the plugin is back. It's just not activated yet. So of course, we'll just click the activate button. And now our plugin is installed and activated. So now that the plugin is installed, where do we find the settings and options that we can use to manipulate the plugin? Well, that's a great question. And the answer is there are several different places where you can find plugin settings. So sometimes you'll see an option over here on the left-hand side that wasn't there before. For instance, when you install the events calendar plugin or event tickets, you will see this events option over here that wasn't there before. Sometimes you'll find the settings in the settings tab or the tools tab. Basically, they can be put anywhere the plugin developer wants to put them. And one little tip I learned is if you can't find the settings over here, sometimes if you just go to the plugin section and find the plugin in the list, there will be a link to the settings. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install a plugin into a WordPress website. Uh, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.